say what you can find on like Goodreads or on the little synopsis, like I won't say any more than that. And yeah, so I have three of the books that I recently read. I don't have all of, like, I don't buy my books, I take them out of the library, so I can only film this when I have the book from the library, so I can't really talk about books I've already returned, unfortunately. Well, I can't talk about them, but I can't show them. But I'm going to be just talking about three books that I actually own because I did buy them. Um, and I'll tell you, like, I'll say why I bought each one, because I don't usually buy books, but these three are kind of an exception, so I am going to talk about them and, yeah, my reviews and stuff, so... I'll go in order of when I read them. So, out of these three books, the one I read first was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. So, the reason that I bought this book in particular is because my sister tried to get it out of the library and she said that our library doesn't carry it so I had a Barnes & Noble gift card and I was like you know what I'll use it for this book because we both really wanted to read it um so yeah that's why I bought this one Posing as a psychic to blend. 
the newest one, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, because I literally just saw that movie recently, because it like just came out, but yeah, I could not remember anything that happened in this book, so reading it was like basically seeing it for the first time, and oh my gosh, I loved this book so much. I gave it five stars. It was so good. I can't wait to read the rest of the series because I absolutely loved it. And, um, in case you don't know, I mean, this book is super, like, the movie and this whole series is super well known, I feel like, but it's basically about, let me see if there's something I can read. Once known as North America lies the nation of Panem, a shining capital surrounded by surrounded by twelve outlying districts. The capital is harsh and cruel and keeps the districts in line by forcing them all to send one boy and one girl between the ages of twelve and eighteen to participate in the annual Hunger Games, a fight to death on live TV. Sixteen-year-old Katniss Everdeen regards it as a death sentence when she steps forward to take her sister's place in the games, but Katniss has been close to death before, and survival for her is sec second nature. Without really meaning to, she becomes a contender, but if she is to win, she will have to start making choices that will weigh survival against humanity and life against love. So yeah, this book was fantastic. It's basically... I don't know, I think it's like a dystopian type book, I think that's what they call it, I don't know if it's really fantasy, like, it's more dystopian, kind of like, weird world, I guess, like, it's supposed to be like, a new, pl like, a new nation that replaced North America, and like, yeah, basically, each district sends one boy, one girl, into these Hunger Games where they fight to death and there can only be like one survivor at the end and Katniss Everdeen after her sister gets picked um, she steps up for her because she doesn't want her sister to be in this because her sister is like younger and she wants to protect her so she steps up, she says I volunteer as trivia <laughs> I, in case you've probably heard that maybe before but um, yeah so she goes into the and yeah, it's really good. And then there's also this other boy from her district that gets picked, PETA, which all I can say is I'm in love with PETA. Oh my gosh, I love him. 
suspicious his tour of, it, of duty, but neither can foresee that 9-11 is about to change the world. Like so many proud men and women, John must choose between love and country. Now when he finally returns to North Carolina, John will discover how love can transform us in ways we never could have imagined. Oh, this book was really, really good. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, I, get, I took off a star because just the ending was just like not what I was hoping for. I mean, you have to read the book to know what I mean by that. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, it was really cute. I loved when they had just met and like they were falling in love. Oh, so cute. They are an adorable couple. I love them. Um, and it was a very say anything, like I don't want to spoil anything, but if you want a good romance to read, it's really cute, but, you know, the ending was not ideal for me, but, you know, take it as you will, I don't want to say too much, um, but overall, very, very cute. or seen the movies, but thank you for watching.